Man, okay, if anybody out there can pull a union standstill, you, sir, you, yes, you, Dragonova, is it? You again? Yeah. Uh, you. Uh, yes. When you do look up to one of your favorite creators or idols or anybody of status, you would think that they can be trusted or admired, overlooking the fact that even though they seem like they don't have anything else to hide, in reality, they could potentially be hiding a very disturbing secret that the public would not know about up until it becomes well known through many factors, including getting exposed due to a leakage of data or a breach of trust. And the next thing you know, the very person you once idolized becomes a threat to you and many others out there to the point that it will become very difficult for them to recover from. So this is the case on what happened to an Omega YouTuber also known as Dragonova, a man that had everything going for him up until that very day when he exposed his private parts to an underage child on a Discord call. We'll cover the situation and what really happened as well as my take on him from this perspective. So here it is. Recently, there has been a lot of talk about child predators, as most of them have been well known and well documented, even to the point that people that once looked up to them are now turning away. And although there has been some progress being made in addressing this serious issue that's been plaguing society for quite a while now, there are still those that are yet to be called out, as some of them are hiding in plain sight you would not know who they really are and what their intentions are. They could be someone you know, someone you could trust, whether it's a friend, a family member, your neighbors, or even someone in power. And that is something that truly keep you up at night, knowing that these disgusting individuals are out there preying on little children right under our noses. However, there is still a way to catch them and to bring light to the victims to get their stories out there to prevent more victims of sexual assault that can damage their psyche and will affect them for the rest of their lives negatively. In this case, the one that I'm going to be covering is within the Omega community, which has been brought up by creators like Daze Woozy, the man who I intercepted his call the other day, and Omnia who they first brought it up during a live stream on January 1st of 2022. This was all done during a live stream when this was all going down. That day, it sent shockwaves to a very niche community, which I do happen to be a part of. I also happened to went out of my way to contact Amya himself to ask if he knows anything else that hasn't already been publicly known. But from the looks of it, I don't think he is willing to speak any more about it, which is quite a shame. So I'm only left with what's available, in which a day or two later, all his social medias have been wiped out of existence, leaving no trace but some re-uploads and remaining web searches of his whereabouts, wiping out an entire year's worth of content. As quickly as he rose, he also lost it all over that one incident. With the evidence being shown here, there is a possibility that there are other victims out there that have yet to be known or for anyone to come forth with further evidence that these children that are on that Discord call may not be the only ones to have witnessed such inappropriate actions. And although this call may have been done, one cannot imagine how much worse this situation could have been if they were there in the same area or even done in person. If the 13-year-old girl had been traumatized by that provocative scene, imagine if it was witnessed in 
person. So at that point, the damage would have been made. Not that it already has happened over a video call. The upsetting thing about all this was the fact that I have known about Dragonova. Earlier in 2021, when he first demonstrated the interception, livestream, and videos, and honestly thought he was doing this for the fun, and never in any amount of time could imagine that a goofy internet personality turned out to be a dangerous individual and a threat to children and those around them. The best thing he can do is either admit his wrongdoings or turn himself in or even stay away from children. But then I don't think a second chance will become an option now that this is public knowledge. This was a quick take on the whole Dragonova situation. Until there is further evidence that is yet to be brought up for a follow-up, this is only my perspective out of the many others that are yet to come. This wasn't something that I was planning to do, but I was compelled enough to bring it up and to get it out of my way to bring this to light. And let this be a warning to be careful on who to trust. So proceed with caution and make sure you get to know who you're speaking to because you'll never know who would be behind that screen before it is too late. I do not condone harassing these individuals, but be aware for others like them. Also, there are plans to work on a website in collaboration with Omega Predators that I will announce once the website is made and ready. Till then, this is LR7 warning about the dangers of these individuals who prey on children and logging out.